E é isso aí, galerinha. Estamos aqui novamente com mais uma sessão de entrevistas. Temos aqui a nossa convidada especial da noite. E é ninguém menos que a grande Julia Childress. É isso aí, galerinha. Ela está aqui online com a gente no Skype. A gente vai, obviamente, fazer uma transição agora para inglês, né? Para vocês poderem participar aí é, é, ativamente. É claro que vai estar tá aqui... É, registrado no nosso vídeo as legendas da, da entrevista. Então fiquem tranquilos que vocês não vão ficar pirando aí com a nossa, a nossa função bilingue. Julie, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, welcome to your show. I mean, um, it's a privilege to actually get to talk to you, uh, uh, finally. I, I don't know yeah, how you. Kamatsu got to reach you. I, I have no idea how he, he managed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Magic. Yeah, magic, man. Uh, I would like to start the interview with a few questions about yourself, like uh, to to the people that don't know you uh, from Brazil and everything. Um, broad questions: Where are you from? What do you do for a living? Uh, are, do do you, uh, play games for a living? Uh, many of us here in Brazil don't get to do that, so yeah. Yeah, I'm very lucky. Um, so I'm from uh, Vancouver in British Columbia in Canada. So we're on the furthest uh, west coast. Um, I am 23 years old. Um, I was previously working as a manager at a movie theater, um, one of the big chain in Canada, it's Cineplex. Um, and I actually recently quit there um, to pursue uh, esports and my StarCraft career uh, full time. Um, I'm also a student, um, but right now I'm taking the semester off so that I can also really focus on StarCraft and just see where I can go. Um, for now um luckily for me i'm living at home so i don't have a lot of bills and things so i can get away with you know without a steady income right now but it's going pretty good so far yeah uh, i've been like uh following you i noticed you you recently played uh, losira in the major league tournament i mean how how was that i mean uh how how cool is that Oh, it was really cool. Um, it was very scary, though. So that MLG was in Providence, and that was uh, the first one I've ever been to. And um, I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't think that I would... Um, I, I thought everyone there was going to be masters or grandmasters or Korean. <laughs> They had got a league of their own. Um, and... Uh, they... My camera's changing, sorry. <laughs> no, don't worry. Um... And when I got there, my first opponent was actually in silver. And so uh, I ended up beating him. And I was just as shocked as anybody that I actually got to play somebody who was um, a little bit lower in skill level than I was because I didn't expect to win any games against anybody. Um, and then my second game in the winner's bracket was against Lucera. And, and as scary as it was, um, I guess it helped knowing that uh, there was a really small chance I would win. So there was a lot of pressure kind of removed there um but and and so right away when i found out that i was going to be doing it i was really nervous but looking back at it now it's such a great opportunity and i'm so happy to have been able to um to represent not only females but also people who are lower skill level you know to like give give hope to people who maybe want to make it um like get famous or you know become a pro in in esports you know like it, it can happen to anybody yeah that, that's what i thought i mean uh before that i actually i have to confess i didn't have i haven't heard of you before and i, I was like whoa look at that that there's there's a girl playing lozira i mean she she's like uh facing him and giving him a hard time and everything <laughs> i was like whoa that that's that's something to to be to my be mindful of i mean that's awesome yeah, um thank you. Yeah, tell us a bit about your gaming background. I mean, have you played other other games besides uh, StarCraft II? Um, I started playing video games when I was really young. Um, my my dad uh, worked with computers at his work, and I guess he always knew what the next big game was. So <clears throat> when I was way younger, we played DOS games like Commander Keen and, and Jazz Jackrabbit, like really, really old games. Um, and then eventually I started playing Unreal Tournament, And I always loved that. And my brother, who's five, year, five years younger than me, also got into playing that a lot. Um, and then it wasn't until I was, I think, 13 years old. I was in eighth grade. And I met um, a brand new friend in my math class. And he played StarCraft all the time, Brood War. And I, I wanted to, you know, 
hang out with him more and he just seemed like a really cool guy so I went and got the game too and we stopped talking eventually and I just loved the game I played it all the time forever like so it was no no uh big mystery as to why I came into Starcraft 2 you know just I think a lot of people who had the background in Brood War just couldn't help but move into Starcraft 2 as well it's just such a great community and game yeah, I mean, I know exactly what you mean. I, I used to play a Brood War when I was, I was a child, and of course, everybody was waiting for StarCraft II to come out, and then when it came out, everybody jumped into it, and here we are. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, here we are. Uh, so, But comparatively, uh, only StarCraft II so far. Um, well, they're locally, I, I played Guitar Hero um, for for about a year um and there were some local tournaments that i played at and i came in second at one of them but uh it's not like i was never known you know it's a luge in in uh guitar hero or anything like that like really a starcraft 2 is you know, my only competitive thing okie dokie um well so so let's just dive in a little bit more in starcraft 2 right now uh, are you playing for a team right now? How how is your involvement in the scenario, esports, and everything? Yeah, um, I'm right now. I'm on Check Six Gaming, um, and I was lucky enough to get picked up by them uh, just prior to MLG Providence, which ended up being such a great um, just event and opportunity for me, and and it was really cool to be able to represent a team while I was there. Um, and now I. I play under uh, the alias Check Six Aluge. Um, yeah, they're they're really supportive. It's really fun practicing with the team, and I have a lot of friends on there. So it's nice to kind of have that family environment. Is is everybody from Canada who playing in Check no. Six? Um, I think maybe there's three of us from Canada, maybe two. Most of the people on the team are uh, in the United States. Awesome. Uh, yeah. I, I think Huck is from Canada too, right? Yeah, he is. Yeah. D did you meet him uh, prior to the event or uh, I saw a picture with you, uh, with both of you. So that's why I asked. Uh, the first time I ever met him was um, at MLG. I think he's from Toronto. I could be wrong, but that's on the other side of Canada. So, mm -hmm. so uh, well, how is it like when you, when you decided to be a pro gamer? I mean, uh, you just said you, you took a semester off school. I mean, uh, it's it's a pretty thrill ride, right? Yeah, well, I started streaming um, pretty regularly in September 2011. And I, was, I just started a new semester at college, uh, and I was still working two jobs. I also worked at Sephora. Um, and the more often I streamed, the less I wanted to do homework and study and go to work. And I just <laughs> realized how much I loved it. And I just had such a group of friends on on StarCraft that people that I didn't even necessarily know in real life, just that I had met through StarCraft. And I would always want to play that and hang out with them online. And once I started streaming, I had a big group of people there that we hung out with all the time too. And it was so much fun. Um, so I didn't really plan on becoming, you know, a pro gamer, but um, when I got picked up by Check Six and then went to MLG, um, it kind of happened from there. I mean, I was streaming anyway, and I had a couple thousand followers um, prior to MLG, but definitely after that, I became a little bit better known for sure. Yeah, I noticed you give a lot of interviews, many people bothering like me and asking a lot of questions, maybe the same questions <laughs> from time to time. <laughs> what about? Uh, I, I think it's worth it. I mean, I, 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 so I, I want to to publicize the your gaming history as a as a girl and as a, a upcoming character. You just said it yourself. I mean, from a person who came from. I think you were in Diamond League. I don't know if you still are. I don't. I don't. Know. I, I am still on Diamond. I haven't been able to ladder quite as often as I would like because uh, I just. You know, if it doesn't go well, I get discouraged that day. So I try, I try to practice more custom uh, one versus ones against some of my friends. And a lot of the people I practice with are actually quite a bit better than me. So it can get a little discouraging sometimes, but I know it is good practice. And I just try to do that as often as possible. But I am still diamond, yeah. Yeah, I mean, keep on growing, man, uh, girl, because uh, <laughs> uh, 
I look up to you because I'm gold so far. So yeah. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Uh, but at home, uh, when you when you when you decided to do these changes in your life, I mean, with your family, did, did they support you? Uh, was it easy to to? Uh, I think everybody needs to bargain a little when you, when they decide to do this kind of stuff. How was it? Well, I mean, at, at first, like I said, like I hadn't really planned on you know quitting my day job and becoming a pro gamer, but. Mm -hmm. um, So I was just streaming a lot and my parents knew I was doing that and that I was um, partnered on Twitch. So I was getting some ad revenue from them too. Um, so they were already, they already knew that I, you know, I was definitely interested and passionate about this game. And like over my life, all the games that I've been playing, I've just always been like a really like a nerdy girl, you know? So it's not like so far fetched that I would start, I would, you know, pursue something like this. Um, and then when I went to MLG, my, my dad phoned me one day just to make sure everything was going well. And I think it was right after I found out I was going to be playing on main stage and I told him how nervous I was and, but they were supportive. Um, it's definitely weird though, I think for their generation to, even for me, like to be able to understand that people can support themselves by playing video games, right? Like, especially like the pros and and people who win MLGs and get 50,000 American dollars, you know, like it's amazing that these opportunities exist. Mm -hmm. uh, but so it's kind of been a learning curve for everybody. It's, it's hard to believe and really get used to, but uh, I'm really lucky. My family has been very supportive. So. And they, they didn't like the fact that your, your girl played a role in this, like a challenge of some sort to, to show the people and like, uh, you know, We, we can do it and you're equals that's of course a fact but well there's a lot of stupid people that <laughs> say stupid stuff so yeah yeah there are lots of opinions out there but i think if you're passionate about the game it, regardless of your gender you know it, that's all that matters yeah that, that's awesome that's awesome uh mm -hmm. so uh i'm assuming you have been enjoying a lot the the, the pro gaming gig and everything uh The way you tell the stories with a uh, smile on your face. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. do you have any any like special plans, any goals you, you want to achieve? I, I definitely want to get promoted into masters soon. Um, that that would just be great. Um, and I I beat a lot of masters players. It's just for some reason I think the North American BattleNet server just doesn't want to see me get promoted. <laughs> um, and so if I can start after practicing so much and if i can start laddering more i think oh i will get promoted i just need to really you know spend a lot of time and be really serious about it and and it's hard when you lose which is true for everybody right like it's hard not to get discouraged but you need to make sure that you don't give up um yeah <laughs> Yeah, StarCraft is kind of a, an unfor unforgiving game, right? Uh, if mm -hmm. you do a little mistake, you get so so punished. Yeah. yeah. A lot of frustration coming from it. But it's worth it when you when you get to win. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a very yeah, active thinking game. Well, awesome. Um, I don't know. I'm going to give you a, a blank sheet of paper and just uh tell your brazilian fans and everybody uh, listening to this any message any uh anything you wish to share with them uh i know you learned some portuguese recently uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I, i mean besides that if you want to say anything else feel free um well um i just you know everybody follow your dreams if you if you want to be a pro gamer give it a fair shot and if you're passionate about the game you know spend the time that it takes to get good at it because whether you're silver or gold or diamond, you know, like there's always room for improvement. And the more that you learn, I think the more you learn what you don't know, right? Like when I was in bronze, I didn't realize how much there was to know. And I just knew that there were some build orders that people followed. I didn't realize that, you know, you had to have so many probes to be able to support yourself on this. And that if you see immortals, you need to have zerglings or, you know, there's so much to learn. So it just, it takes time. It's not easy. And, I think everybody has room to grow, so just don't give up. Um, so with that, I'll say, uh, boa sorte, divirsi. Uh, awesome. <laughs> And, uh, thank you very much, Pedroca, uh, for having me. Um, 
Thank you so much for the support. Um, I always get people from Brazil coming in my channel and saying hi from Brazil. And I love when you guys say that, it's awesome to know that there's people out there who know my name and watch my stream and support me. So thank you so much. Um, also, thank you to my team, Check6, and all of our sponsors like PureTrack, Pure Voice, uh, TTE Sports. Um, yeah, and please follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, uh, and Twitch, all at Alij SC. Awesome. Thank you for, for being here. I mean, it's my, my privilege to have you here. Uh, no problem. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to switch back to Portuguese to have the call out everybody to click below in the description to, to, to follow you and everything. Uh, pessoal, cliquem aí na descrição com tem os links do, do Twitter, do Facebook e do stream também da, da Julia no, no Twitch TV. Fiquem ligados aí, galerinha. É, com isso aí a gente se despede. Se des, despede. A gente está encerrando então a entrevista agora. Muito obrigado por assistirem. Inscrevam-se no canal aqui também. E com isso aí, muito obrigado para a Julia por estar presente. Thank you very much, Julia, for being here again. Uh, it's a pleasure. Uh, feel free to drop by anytime you want to. Uh, may, maybe we can meet each other in the letter if I get better, if I get, if I get to dine yeah. at some time or master's. I'll hold you whenever. to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. E é isso aí, se você gostou desse vídeo, clica aqui em cima em inscrever-se para receber todas as atualizações do nosso canal. E se você gostou muito mesmo, clica aqui embaixo em adicionar a favoritos e manda um joinha que assim você ajuda a gente a receber destaque no YouTube. Muito obrigado pelo prestígio e até uma próxima!